Hello everyone, I'm your host, Wave Angel. Welcome back to part 33 of my Pokemon campaign for Total War Worm 2. Now in the last few episodes you would have saw that I've just dealt a quite a decisive blow towards the Slukids who have now lost pretty much all of their territory in their starting position and have now only got a, a few regions from I believe Libya, Egypt and a couple of other ones along the African coastline. So I've got my armies coming down really to deal with them in the south and I've also got a couple of armies heading into Arab Armenia and Magna Phoenix in order to try and secure the territory from the Arabian tribes there. So this is one particular example, the Geherins under the command of Zelasen is trying to attack, well, I can't even remember what this place is called, <laughs> too many places, too many people. They uh, he's just come down to the siege, a battle. Now, as you can see, I, he does outnumber me by 200 men. But unfortunately for him, I do have, I think, better troops. I think the Geher's Guard are quite powerful. And he's got heavy spearmen as well. But the rest of them are just skirmishing units and a couple of light eastern spearmen and levy spearmen. So hopefully, I should be able to win the battle. The uh, battle bar is in my favor. And if I did go to Alter Resolve, because... I'm apparently winning. I've got a high chance of winning with at least 62%, if not better. So, without further ado, I think I'm actually going to try and fight on the battlefield. And normally, I'd rather try and hold the resolve it because one, it is reasonably in my favour considering, and two, I hate going up against horse archers, cavalry archers, and that sort of thing. But I know I've been very negligent in actually providing battles for you guys entertainment and I do apologize for that. Being, like I said, a lot of them are against, you know, sorry, a lot of them are against garrison forces and it is a bit boring just trying to, you know, fight four men with an army of 20, so just trying the best I can, I guess. So anyway, here is the enemy force and some cool widescreen effects here. I actually never knew how to do this until I saw one of Alex Rambler videos uh, earlier this week, or last week I should say, in order to find out. So, uh, let me see. Looks pretty cool like this. Now that's a, that would have been a nice image to see, you know, forces, all the forces there, sunset behind them. <laughs> anyway, back to this. Alright, so what they've got, they've got their, as soon as I have their some of the best forces on the ladders, the Geherian Heavy Spearmen thing, as well as the Geher's Guard, so it seems only fair that I might try and re you know, respond in like, so considering where they've deployed, I have a feeling that I'm going to come up here, or at least try and maybe send one unit here, so if I just pop on the map sec, then I reckon, for the most part they're all going to come up here, but then I think some are going to come down to here and at least try and attack the gate but these are going to be their two main points at the, at the gates himself so let's try and make sure we can respond to that so for the for here i'm actually going to put pikes on the wall okay and if i can spread them out a little bit uh, it should be okay there i think okay so put one unit of pikes there we're going to put some hoplites up up Okay, I thought I... Oops, my mistake. Okay, let's put... These guys on the walls. Okay, the... Greek infantry are going to stay here. Because they're better in... Going as the attack. So I'm going... And I haven't got many of them. So I'm going to put them here and here. Might be best to try and get some slingers up on the wall. Just to provide some... D attacking... Attack. So let's put a unit here and a unit there. Alright, you can move over a little bit more. That's one of the thing when you look at this and go on the wall, I mean. And I've got, you know, infantry, pikemen and that uh, facing the inside of the wall. I don't understand why the graphics are set up in that way. I personally would have preferred just to have it that they could actually defend the wall properly and stand up completely against it. I know you can do it like that. Thing, which might be worth me doing, but let me see. Okay, we're gonna put you guys. <laughs> my six. How many have I got here? I've got 12 archers. Can't even. Don't think. Nope, I don't even have heavy shot for them. 
Oh well, at least I can try the best to protect my people. Alright. Now, let's put you guys here and here. Let's get one unit of slingers. Slingers! Up here. Okay, the Greek Lester I am actually going to form up here. Just uh, so just in case I can attack them wherever the enemy decides to go. And let me see. Militia Hoplitos, what can I do with you guys? Trying to defend whatever I can of these places, so uh, let's put one unit here. Hoplites, form phalanx. Unless do I have a central bit? No, I was hoping I might have had something like a center, like a, a part of ward place I can retreat to, but apparently not. Okay, anyway, so that's one unit there. Let's put another one. Yeah, these are just backups, just in case the enemy manages to get over the walls in there. I have something that can hold off the enemy. I can hold off the enemy a bit, long enough for me to try and bring my forces back, so... Let's see, I've got defenses there and there. And I'll put you guys here, just in case. Okay, General. You can form up here, just to deal with anyone that happens to come by. Plebs, you can wait here. I think that should be everyone then. Alright, let's see what the enemy is doing. Okay, so we've got heavy lancers. That's actually their gen their general unit. I don't know why. Oh, I know what he might be doing. He might be trying to come down, ready to try and capture try and attack the walls, you know, it's with torches. Bit odd considering that he has other opportunities to try and do something else, but well, his choice, I guess. Okay, let's put these into flammable rounds. Might be coming handy to uh, do some damage against some of the ladders. Ah, yes, he is. I'm so glad with Attila that they've actually eliminated the torches. Because, well, that looks like a quite the weathered, you know, tempered door. I don't think it's just throwing some torches by it might actually cause it to go on fire. Well, I could be wrong, but it just doesn't seem likely, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's put you guys up. Ready? Okay, General. I wonder if I can use you to actually try and get through the gate. I seem to, when I've been playing with other factions, I seem to have slight problems sometimes when my units will not actually go through their own gates. I mean, as you can see there, it's held by me. There shouldn't be any reason for them to not be able to get through yet. Sometimes it just works out like that, unfortunately. Alright. What are you doing against. What are you trying to attack? Okay, not you're yeah, too far now to try and deal with them. Let's switch them over to standard rounds instead. Okay, so what we've got happening? We've got one unit of heavy spearmen heading straight towards the gate, it seems. Well, they might. Oh, they got a bit stuck, actually. Okay, Pikes, are you ready to hold the line? Okay, here they come, man. It's a shame we can't actually activate some sort of pike wall ability as it is on the wall before they attack. Because, I mean, that would have been quite handy. I mean, imagine trying to... 
lean over the walls with a giant uh, pike in order to try and eliminate and uh, attack them on the ladders. That would have been so cool. Right. There we go. Now if you can form up with the pikes. There we go. This should hopefully cause some problems now for them, despite the fact they're heavy spears. The enemy general is dead. Excellent. Okay, let's see if my men will actually be willing to leave. There. Now we have to be careful because... Yeah, I will have to be careful a little bit just because I am trying to attack them with my general. But I'm hoping just to try and attack them, cause a few casualties, and then retreat back out. So, head in, deal with them, and just try and disrupt the line as much as possible. Okay, look, how are these going to be doing? Okay, you have to hop the table. Oops, too far. Right. Now you guys come up here. Okay, General retreats again. Okay, you can start m marching your way in slowly and slowly to help out. Uh, Pikes, make your way over to here. Wow, these are really losing out to me. Okay, we men come back out. Okay, how are they doing over on this side? Combat's even so far between the pikes. Okay, you guys can come in and try and help as well. Have to make your pikes bring in and help. Okay, back out. Well, oh, I didn't realize any of my gates were actually needed to be captured, but if you say so. Charge! Ah, come on, man. It should not be this difficult to think. Well, the one thing I wouldn't mind seeing them do was if they actually had it so they could attack the ladders right now so like what, once you get to things that like, you can torch their ladders so now they will be able to try and make their way up oh who's retreating oh good alright come on man Alright, let's bring uh, these Greek infantry now to, to come and deal with these spearmen on the top. Okay, these are shaken. Right. Come on, we can break them, man. We can break them. On. Alright, my pikemen are doing some sort of weird thing where they've got all their ladders pikes outside, <laughs> facing it outside for some reason. 
All right, Jenna has now managed to beat them back, so let's bring them back into the walls. All right, they got one last unit of Gehaven heavy infantry coming in as well as some mercenary Arabian spearmen, levies. Oh, I'm hoping that wasn't my walls being attacked by my own artillery. I really hope not. Okay, maybe not. Good. Okay, let's start forming these up. Greek infantry. We can make our way back over. Slingers, to see if you're willing to actually try and do some more damage for me. I mean, yeah, like I was saying before, that would have been a useful ability to have, I think. Whereas to have that, if you, once you defend, like, oh, hang on. Oh, coherent guard. Them. Yeah, that once you manage to like repel the enemies to actually be able to torch the, the ladders or something like that, that would have been quite a nifty thing to be able to do, I reckon. Do that instead. Now you meant to come and deal with these. You guys can attack them, you guys attack them. You guys make your way to attack these. Weak infantry, you can charge in as well. Just try and eliminate them now as quickly as possible. And I think that's actually going to be eliminating pretty much all of their you know, melee troops. So it just means a case now of dealing with these bloody archers. Okay. You're gonna come in and give these guys a hand. Okay, let's fast forward this a bit now. The melee uh, troops should be no concern of mine now. No. Just unfortunately now I'm going to have to wait for them to... I mean, unless... Well, we've got camo archers, levy spears... Is it risky to try and take out my... Take my general out to attack some of their slingers? Let's try it. The walls are breached. Where? Oh, you shitting me. Okay, you guys, stop shooting. I can't believe this. My own people. Jesus, I've just ha witnessed a massacre of all my men because of this. Jesus. The only good thing, I guess, is the fact that the enemy can't get down to it. Oh, hang on. Let's get them out, get them out. The men are wavering. Men, get back, get back, get back, get back. I didn't quite realise that some of those camel riders were actually... General, get your butt back in here. An entire unit has perished. 
Phew. Okay, that could have been a really bad end to Herodontus. Okay, it looks like I might have to try and be a little. Well, I was hoping to be a little bit more aggressive, but see, considering I've lost a lot of my pikes now from the actions of the. Uh. Okay, let's just tell you guys to come down here for the moment. Okay, you guys can form up there. Greek infantry don't need you down here. You can head back. Slingers, you can come over and actually help out. Let you guys forward. I can't do much more to my uh, damage to my walls than you already have. Okay, let me see. Let's get these guys. You guys can all form up here. Okay, let's see now what is the enemy planning to do? Well, they've got a whole bunch of pikes and that's waiting in here. It would be rude for me not to introduce them, so... Coming out, guys. And just watch these men pretty much die. The battle is turning in our favor. Wow, this battle is actually taking a hell of a lot longer than I was hoping it would. I can only apologize, guys. I didn't expect it was going to be this long. Okay, first victory. But that's the thing, I only lost, I mean, it's close victory, I lost 849 men. But the problem is, if you notice, over half of my kills were done by my own side. Thanks to these fucking hearted. I can't believe they destroyed the wall. Oh, you have to excuse me a moment, guys. Okay, so we're back now. So. Where was I? Uh, yes. So it seems I lost one unit and 
two units actually. One unit says in cavalry and one unit of pike. I can't believe I lost that many troops thanks to that bit of wall coming down. I mean, I, it was all pretty obvious what happened. I had the whole wall, a lot of troops on the wall ready to try and deal with any enemy attacks. And the um, artillery sort of attacking the wall ended up hitting mine instead and destroyed it, wiping out a large faction, including these guys. It's such a shame though, but I think that's what I caused then the fact that I had 412 kills. I've now actually lost 859. So I actually lost about 40%, uh, 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 just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, let's enslave the captives. Uh, let me guess. Our warriors thirst for your blood and hunger for your women. Perhaps they can be distracted by well, gold. I'm nowhere near you, so although you, who owns this? It's a, no, I'm not interested in that. I'll tell you what. I'll take that. No, I'll reject that often. Then. That's one of the things as well. I mean, look My at this. Lord they want. That you will find it they want four thousand for me to not to attack to them. Nah. I'd rather just take them out. To be completely honest with you. Let's uh, see, Herodontus is ranked up, Platinum's gone up, Media's gone up. Right, and everything's been built up. Okay, let's quickly do these guys. Let me see, you've been doing pretty well with... Okay, let's build up your Oracle ability. Okay, Platon. See, he's an agriculturalist, so let me see. Let's build that up. For him and Herodontus, you've done extremely well considering that you cooked up a bit. I blame the artillery to be completely honest. Okay, let's build up your trained swordsman ability and let's go for camp administrator now as well. Okay, it's time now to have a look and see about improving some of these. Let's build that up. Build that. Just to make sure everything is set up and how I want it. And uh, I see. You have a bunch of agriculture. Here from things. So let's go for the sake of growth for you. Everything seems pretty okay. I'm happy with all these arrangements so far. Alright, that can go up a level. Okay, come up first. Let me see. You're a docks. Mm. Let's get that to Neptune. You can go for a Gavin place. You can go up. No, actually, yeah, let's. Swap that over from a, a thing to a market settlement. Okay, I think that's everything sorted now. Alright, these guys are still ready to try and attack at some point. Can I get... No, I can't actually get anything in terms of... Sorry, I was wondering, I couldn't get any pikes, unfortunately. Let me see. Oh, you've got enough skill you can go up. Let's... Let's give you camp administrator as well. Sounds like something that a guy who seems to be reasonably good at that sort of thing would be expected to be able to do. You're... 
<laughs> if he tries to attack Seleucia, then he's going to have some problems facing him. Alright, let's continue to build that up. And I've got my forces all ready to come down and attack. Let me see. Let's take my spy. Alright, pop it in. Let's see if I can sabotage anything. In fact, what's going to be better for me to sabotage? Uh, Yafib has only have one unit of noble swordsmen, and even then, I don't know what's happened there to cause that much casualties. These guys would be the best bet to attack. So, Mateo Sabotage, Poison the Visions. Thank you. And she's wounded. Bloody hell. Okay, who are actually these? The, uh, the Manny. I'm not against having certain people as client states and what have you, if they choose to. The blessing of the Olympians upon you. Right. What then do your noble people desire of us? Uh, let me see. I bought to say. Wow, they actually got quite a few people <laughs> towards them. Uh, no, just. I'll keep them as trade partners Greetings, and I won't expect money Greetings. from them. They are my vassals afterwards, so I can't expect them to do that for me. Right. Okay, time to deal with all these guys now. So, let's... Let's declare war on them. Uh, I'm not that concerned. I'll keep my allies out of this. Like oh, wow. Dogs. I didn't expect it to be that much in my favor after seeing the size of that army. Okay, it doesn't really matter what I go with, so I'm going to go with protective stance. Okay, lost 70 men out of that. Could raise it, subjugate. Um, let's raise it. Ready for orders. Right, get that cup. Let's get the temple going already. Oh, more food's always a good thing to have. And let's get that as well. Ready for battle. Uh, these other ones now can come down and deal with the survivors down here. Uh, oh yeah, my spy got killed. Right. Let's march you over to here. Right. Yeah, I might as well bring you all down to try and help out. Alright, we've got Udon, Marib, and Mascat. Okay, not that many regions left. Probably might be able to take them out with one unit each, but um, slightly thin, so I would rather use. Uh, let's keep them there for the moment, these guys. Where are they? Nope. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get these guys here. Ready for battle. And you can form up here as well, then. Alright, all these... All these agents. Okay, anyone else to worry about? We hunger for battle. March. Is that all? Okay, let's keep these. Uh, a little bit further, I could have kept them in ambush. Oh, well. Let's put them. Yeah, let's leave them there for the moment. 
What about you guys? Let me see. You guys can form up here and here. And you can come down here. Keep working his way down then, you can catch a uh, Udaemon. Right, is there any mercenaries in the region that could help out a bit? Mercenary camel archers... No, hmm. I think after that last one, I'm definitely getting rid of these. And yeah, I'll hire some mercenaries. Not only would it help me get some troops back myself, but I'll sort of stop them from recruiting, especially if I get them out of this one. So let me see if I grab to grab some of these. End of turn, and have a look to see what the other armies are going to do. Because I've got one here just badly weakened. Oh, the sloop gets ahead enough. Yes, the Kahara still got one army as well as the main. I, believe, I wonder how you pronounce that. Is it Ma Mayin? Or. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, sorry if I'm fumbling some of this. As I said before, oh, my disclaimer at the very beginning of the series, I'm not that sure about how to say some of the stuff, so. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Until the sky is dark with smoke. Okay, I will bring you guys to war. If you insist on war, we shall give you war. The love of gold can stir evil in men. Give us right. your gold. Avoid the evil it brings. Okay, I actually... I'll try and avoid the fight battle in them unless I have to, so I will offer them some money. Let me see. There you go, that's one less enemy to worry about. Ooh. Alright, let's do this. There shouldn't be any problems, in fact. Right in the face. Okay, again, let's enslave the captives. Over here. Wow. Let's go to protect the stance. Deal with these. At least, thankfully, it's not like the. when you play as a Shogun 2 or something like that, that. The enemy can actually attack and uh, invade you when, once you defeat them one more by one. Uh, let me see. Let's go for balance. This should hopefully give me less casualties. Alright, that'll be nice. I'm gonna release them. Not that it made much difference. Try and put them into the dust. I figured that'd be the case. The enemy army has la enemy has landed an army in your region. Like a media. Right. The only thing I can imagine is talking about is there. Okay. Alright, let's bring him, try and bring him a little bit closer. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry that it was a bit thing with the long drawn out seat battle at the beginning, but it's about to. Oh, at least there's something to watch the battle, eh? And I still can't believe my artillery caused me to lo lose that many men in one go. I, I honestly can't believe it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.